Well, good day. This is going to be about types of computers and types of operating systems. There are certain computers that have a standard keyboard, and there are certain computers that do not have a standard keyboard. An example of a computer that has a standard keyboard is a desktop computer. That's the kind of computer we have at our school, isn't it? We have a full standard keyboard with a big box, that's the computer, and a screen, that's called the monitor. We got a mouse desktop computers very popular here at school there's also laptop computers I'm sure you've used a laptop computer it's got a full keyboard or pretty much full keyboard standard keyboard anyway another type of computer does not have a standard keyboard an example of that might be a tablet a tablet doesn't have a keyboard although you could attach one but it doesn't have to have a keyboard there's another computer that does not have a standard keyboard do you know what it is yeah, that's right. It's a smartphone. Smartphones are computers, but they don't have a standard keyboard like a desktop does. There's two different kinds of desktop computers, and it's important that you know these two. There's two different kinds of desktop computers, and I hope you're taking a few notes about them. The first desktop computer is just the personal PC. Personal computer is just called a PC, and it's kind of like we have at school. It's got a big box computer and a monitor and the keyboard and the mouse, and etc. Many different companies make personal computers, but they all run the Windows operating system. And we'll learn about operating systems in just a minute. The other kind of desktop computer is a Macintosh computer. Macintosh computers are not made by many companies, no. Macintosh computers are only made by the Apple Corporation, and nobody else makes Macintosh except the Apple Corporation. The Apple Corporation does not use Windows for their operating system. They use Mac OS. What do you think OS stands for? Yeah, operating system. The Mac OS is the Mac operating system. Almost all desktops and laptops are PCs. Only a 7% of computers, desktops, and laptops are made by Apple and use the Macintosh OS. All the other computers use Windows and they are PCs. Lenovo makes a lot of uh, laptops and desktops. They're a Chinese company based in Beijing. Hewlett Packard, HP, they make desktops and laptops. Uh, they're based in Palo Alto, California. Dell makes desktops and laptops. They're based in Texas. Apple, they only make uh, Apple products. They don't make PCs. Acer and Asus are both Chinese companies based in Taiwan. That's the free China, different than the communist China, Lenovo. So you can see that almost all desktops and laptops are PCs. They're personal computers and they're running Windows for the most part. I thought it was interesting. This is the picture of Apple Park in Cupertino. This is their headquarters. I thought it was an interesting building. If you don't know where Cupertino is, Cupertino is down by San Jose. Not too far from Elk Grove. You can drive down to Cupertino in a couple of hours. It's kind of near San Francisco, I guess. It's by San Jose, Cupertino. Palo Alto is also right here in California. That's HP, Hewlett Packard. And they're based over there in Palo Alto. Not too far from us. Dell Computers are in Round Rock, Texas. That's uh, just north of Austin. Austin, Texas is the state capital of Texas. So we know there's personal computers and there's Macintosh computers, PCs and Macs. But what is an operating system? Before we talk about an operating system, let's think about how a hospital's file room might work. Here's a doctor and he's got some paper files and he's going to have to store those paper files somewhere. Let's find out how it could be done. It could be done like this. All the hospital doctors could put their own files away themselves. And I know doctors are not that organized. And so if all the doctors keep putting their files in the same file room, I think that file room is going to get pretty messy pretty fast. We don't want all these people to start putting things away by themselves. A better system might be this. All the doctors give their files to a file clerk, and the file clerk puts them away so they're nice and neat and tidy. If you need to file back, the file clerk will go get it for you and bring it to you. You are not allowed to go in there. You give it to me, 
and I'll put it away. So we have a file clerk who's going to be very responsible and keep things organized. It's very important that you only have one file clerk. If you add a whole list of file clerks, we know some are going to be lazy, some are going to be diligent, and so we want to keep things nice and clean, one file clerk. That's a good system. That's about how your computer works. Your applications talk to the operating system, and the operating system talks to the hardware. All these applications want to do things to the hardware. Microsoft Word wants it to print. The PowerPoint wants it to show up on the monitor. Movie Makers wants the speakers to play the music. Audacity wants the microphone to listen to him. Even you, even you can talk directly to the operating system. When you change the desktop to a different color or a different picture, you are talking directly to the operating system. When you make a desktop shortcut, you are talking directly to the operating system. The operating system will not let the applications, or even you, directly affect the hardware. Applications are not allowed to send commands directly to the hardware because if they did, they would be mean people who would write applications to do mean things to your computer. They'll say, what I want you to do is erase the hard drive. And so the application would say, erase the hard drive. But the operating system would say, no, 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 you're not doing that. Or some application by some bad guy might say, send 10,000 volts to the monitor. And then the monitor would burst into flames and it'd be all messed up. We don't allow applications to tell the hardware exactly what to do. They can make a request to the operating system. And the operating system will handle the hardware for you. You can only have one operating system. An example is the Windows operating system. The latest version of the Windows operating system is Windows 10. We know what Windows 10 looks like. We use it in our classroom every day. Another operating system is the Mac OS. If you want to use the Mac OS, then you cannot have Windows running at the same time. You can only have one operating system. The latest version of the Mac OS is 10.15 and it's called Catalina. The Mac OS desktop looks like this. See they got menu up here at the top and they got some shortcuts down there at the bottom. Another operating system is Linux. The Linux operating system is quite different than the other two. The Linux operating system is not owned by anyone. Linux is not owned by any company. Linux is free, free to use by anybody. Linux was invented by a man who gave it away to his friends, and he said, can you improve on this? And they would improve it, and then they would pass it on to their friends, and they would improve it, and they would pass it on to their friends, and they would improve it, and they'd make all these different versions of Linux, because Linux is owned by nobody. You don't have to pay money to buy Linux. A popular version of Linux is Linux Mint. Although there are hundreds and hundreds of different versions of Linux, most of the computers on the internet, the servers, they run Linux. Why? Why would they run Linux? Why doesn't the server run Mac OS? Why doesn't the server run Windows? Because Linux is free. You don't have to pay anybody to use it. Linux looks like this. It looks a lot like Windows, doesn't it? Let's talk about laptops. There's three different kinds of laptops. There's the PC, the Chromebook that we have at school, and Macintosh. PCs are made by many companies. They, of course, run the Windows operating system. Chromebooks are made by many companies, and they all run Linux. You didn't know you've been running Linux, huh? You are an experienced Linux user if you've been using a Chromebook. Macintosh has their own laptops. They, of course, run the Mac OS operating system. Macintosh is only made by the Apple Corporation. Are you taking notes? Macintosh is only made by the Apple Corporation. Let's talk about tablets. Microsoft makes a tablet. Of course, they run Windows, and their tablet is called Surface Pro. That's a tablet. Apple has a tablet. Do you know what their tablet is called? The Apple Tablet. What's it called? Do you know? Yes, it's called an iPad. An iPad is a tablet made by Apple. 
and they use the iOS operating system, which is really just a slimmed down version of the Mac OS. Android is really running Linux. So if you have any sort of an Android tablet, maybe made by Asus or somebody else, it's probably running Linux. Android is almost always Linux. Why, why is that? Do you know? Yeah, you should know by now. Smartphones. Apple has a smartphone. They call it the iPhone. It uses the iOS operating system. That's the slimmed down, trimmed down Mac OS. There's other kind of smartphones. I wonder what kind of operating system the other smartphones use. Yes, they run Linux. So all the Android phones, no matter who makes them, they're all running Linux as their operating system. And many, many companies make different kinds of smartphones. We know that. So there was four basic kinds of computers, desktops, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. We know there's three types of operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. We know that Windows is for PCs, Mac OS is for Apple, and Linux runs the Android products. Well, that's about all there is to it.